Welcome to the show. Both our Drover baseball and softball teams represented the university well in the Senior Athletic Conference Tournament, but the season is over. Today we have assistant coach Ken Richardson with the softball program on the show to wrap up the 2012 season. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to the show. This will be our last show, and today we have Coach Ken Richardson, the assistant with the softball program, here to wrap up the 2012 season. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Sure. So tell me about the 2012 season. Uh, I was pleased with this season. I think Coach White was also. Uh, we had our ups and downs, as normally we do in doing softball, but uh, overall we had a good season. We made it where we wanted to go to the conference playoffs and played three games there. and. Uh, Played pretty well. We just didn't hit the ball at the right time. We left, you know, and but overall, I, I'm pleased with it. So, well, one of the goals of the season was to make it to the conference tournament and do better than we did last year, and we we did that. We made it all the way to the third game and ended up losing, a heartbreaking eighth inning loss. Um, so, what did what did you guys tell the players after the game? Well, we basically told them that we had a good season and things like that happens. We had chances to win that game. It just didn't happen. Uh, don't take it you know, and drill all, all summer long, you know, that just we have a good season coming back to next year. We lose one ball player and uh other than that you can't you can't dwell on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall we had a good season there and, and we finished up well. Yeah, we finished the season at twenty nine and twenty two. Um it's a pretty decent season and especially in such a tough conference. And um, we had three players named all conference. We had Misha Sorrell and Taylor Smith were named second team. And then Chelsea Zunick got the Golden Glove with a perfect feeling percentage. So tell me about those players. Well, Nisha, you know, as you know, she was a freshman last year, made all conference. And she is probably our stopper on the team. And she's, everybody plays well behind her. And she, when she's on, she's tough to beat. Uh, Taylor Smith is one of those girls we transferred in that just fell in our laps, uh, which I had known her since she was knee high. But uh, she's a good person, good fielder, and she really helped us at the shortstop position. Mm -hmm. And she's only going to get better. And uh, Chelsea, our Golden Glove Award winner, which she started in center field when we, and I thought Coach and I did a good job of moving Katie and Chelsea in different positions. Uh -huh. And uh, it worked out well. Uh, sometimes they kind of frown about things like that being moved around, but and overall, uh, she finished up well. Yeah, she did a great job in left field. Um, several diving catches from mm -hmm. her, I remember. Um, and Taylor Smith, you mentioned, she actually came from Oklahoma State, and she credits you for, for bringing her in. Um, she, she wrote on her little thing that the reason she came to USAO was because she loved Coach Richardson. So. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you get credit for that one. Um, well, Nisha is definitely, we're going to be glad to have her back the next two years. Um, she broke a school record just last week with 16 strikeouts thrown in a game. Um, so she's definitely a powerhouse. Right. As you mentioned before, we just have one senior graduating, Liz Agpolo. She's definitely going to be hard to replace, especially um, pitching. So um, we've got a pretty good core coming back. What do you guys do in the off season? Well, other than the, well, the summer, they take the summer off and uh, do their own personal workouts, and whatever it is, running, throwing, lifting, whatever. Try to stay in shape for the fall. And in the fall, we just start basically over and start working with them again and uh, uh, hoping we bring in another pitcher that we need. With only one, one player leaving and a lot of juniors and sophomores, you're not doing a lot of recruiting this year, but um, what kind of recruiting have you guys been doing? Well, we're out looking for a pitcher, as you said, uh, but 
we're still looking. Anytime, recruiting never stops. I mean, there's kids that call us and wanting to try out. We have a kid that's coming down today to try out an outfielder, but uh, we're pretty, outfielding right now is pretty in place, but, but still though, you always look for somebody that can help us out in another position. But pitching right now is our biggest point. And uh, right now they're, they're hard to find, but uh, somebody will show up. Well good, we look forward to a great season next year out of the Drovers and have a great summer. Oh, well, thank you. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. All year we've picked a Fan of the Week each week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's Fan of the Week was Shannon Rigsby. Again, congratulations. And this week's Fan of the Week, our last Fan of the Week of the semester, is Dakota Baker. Again, congratulations. Well, that's our show. With the seasons over and our players gone, this will be our last show until we pick it back up in August. But we are going to leave you on a high note, so stay tuned for some bloopers. We'll see you next time on In the Saddle. And then I was just supposed to talk, right? Now, if you guys watched the show last year, I got hit in the head with a softball um, <laughs> doing one of these, so I'm a little concerned about that because that was not oh. very pleasant. to do, David. Yeah, 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 like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome to the show. Today we have sophomore... Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Keep going. I need more. I need more. Keep going. I'm gonna get dizzy. Go, go, go. Oh, oh I'm yeah. Get dizzy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>